Hey everyone, I'm Ashton, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my Psyche antennas. First off, you'll need white, pink, and light blue paint, two styrofoam balls, some thick foam, as well as some thin foam, a skinny wooden rod, an X-Acto knife, some regular paper, hair clips, scissors, pen and pencils, a hot glue gun, and a small piece of parchment paper. First you're going to want to take some slightly thicker foam and mark one inch on it. Then on the other side mark two and a quarter inch. Then mark an inch again. And this time mark one and a half inch. Using the X-Acto knife I cut them out. This is going to be the base of your antenna. Then I'm just tracing the pieces here so I have two of them. Very carefully cut it at an angle so it gives it a bit of a slope. Next use the hot glue gun to, well, glue them onto each other, obviously. Next you're going to measure so you have a little bit of extra space on both sides. Then mark that on the paper. And we're going to carefully glue the paper onto the foam making sure to leave a little bit of extra on both sides. Then you're going to wrap the paper around the foam and glue it in place. Making sure that the paper stops on the bottom so you don't see the seam. As you can see, there's a little bit of paper hanging over. Next we're going to take that parchment paper and we're going to completely fill this up with the hot glue. You want to make sure that it's touching all sides of the paper and that there's no gaps or holes. And you're going to want to do this as quick as you can before the hot glue can dry. Once you've completely finished filling it up, you're going to place it flat down on the parchment paper applying a little bit of pressure but not too much. You can see I've already done it on the other side. After about 5 minutes you can peel the parchment paper off and cut off the excess. Then you can paint them with white paint. Then take that dowel and paint it white. We're only going to need a small amount of this, but it's going to be the stick part of the antenna. You also are going to paint the styrofoam balls. I'm marking 2 inches here, but you can adjust it to fit your antenna. Next, mark the middle of the antenna base. Then measure how far in you want the pole. And carefully using an X-Acto knife, I'm going to puncture it a little bit just so it makes it easier for me to stick the pole in. Then I twist and turn the pole in. It's okay if the sides look a little messy, they're going to be covered anyways. Then I'm just going back in and clearing out a little bit more space by cutting away some of the foam. And I use some pliers to rip a little bit of the foam out. Then I just shoved the styrofoam ball onto it. Next we're going to paint on the blue details. You'll need a little bit of painter's tape for this. 
first measure out to make sure that you're in the middle. I'm taking the styrofoam balls off for this just because it's easier. Cut some painter's tape into straight lines and then just lay them accordingly. Then I fold the tape onto the sides. You're only gonna be painting the top, so it doesn't really matter. Taking a small amount of the blue paint, I very lightly go over it. And while that's drying, you're going to cut out some thin strips of the skinny foam. I'm using some chip clips to hold them in place while I paint them because it's just easier. And coat them in blue. And once that's dry, you can peel off the painter's tape. Then make sure you glue in the wooden pole before starting this next part. Once those foam strips are dry, you're going to hot glue them and wrap them around the base of the wooden pole. It would have been more helpful if I had light blue foam, but I only had yellow, so I'm just going to cover up the back of it with some more paint. Then make sure to glue everything in place before putting it in. Next, you're just going to take some strong, clear, or light-colored tape, whatever you prefer. And take those hair clips from before and put the tape on the top part of them. Then attach them to the back of the antennas. And you're done. Whether it's for cosplaying or accessories, I hope that this tutorial helped you and I hope you have a great day.